and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be organising and showing you all of my hamster supplies. So let's get started. So now I'm just going to go ahead and take everything out of whatever they're being stored in and then I'm going to sort out all the items and then store them accordingly. out all of the items from their boxes and trays and whatever and I've just laid it all out and there's quite a lot there's more than I thought there would be so now what I'm going to do is separate them all into categories and maybe throw away some old things that I no longer need so now I'm going to be filling up this wicker basket and I think I'm going to fill this with mainly natural stuff much that I was able to get in this wicker basket there's still quite a few little natural bits left so let's start off at looking in one of my natural boxes here I have a grass nest and next to that is this coconut thing. It's actually for reptiles. I don't really know why I bought it because I'm never going to use it. But it's there. And then I have this log piece. There's nothing under there. And then pieces of bogwood, a sand bath, some little things that I used to make something. But then it fell apart. Sad. And then we have a nesting bird pouch thing that I'm going to use to chip because it's nice and small and then a climbing ladder and there's a couple of other little like pieces of wood and things in there but that's it for that box now let's move on to this next natural box and in here we have one of the playgrounds that I have that are built together and that also came with a couple of the little dogs there are a couple of those in here got a willow tunnel or is it wicker one of them and then these edging things that i don't really use anymore oh no i can't get it back in now oh i'll do that in a minute and then a coconut hangy thing another coconut that gets hung and then this is probably one of my favorite products that i actually own which is this adorable little coconut house which is for chip obviously because it's really tiny there's another little tunnel under there and that's pretty much it for that box too so then this box i don't really know what to call it i'm calling it my downstairs box because these are the only things that i really need to keep by my hamster's cages like all the time so it's got their food some millet which is like a more regular treat their treat box there's basically loads of treats in here and there's also like a sieve for sand and other necessities like that then we have this box which is basically full of all the spare food so we have loads of seedy treats there's i think like four bags of spare food in here and more treats and more nice things and yeah that's pretty much it for that box i am then using this small spare cage to hold all the random bits because this cage doesn't really pack up any smaller so i might as well use it to store stuff so in here there are toilet roll tubes and just in general loads of leftover plastics and ceramics and random reusable items and also if you notice there is the horrible cotton fluffy bedding over here which I don't use I just was giving it given it so I kept it for making videos and things so I don't use it <laughs> 